I start with applying the texture paste uh, to my page and I do that with a stencil by Tim Holtz. And this is my homemade modeling paste, which is was already a modeling paste, but it was very fluid, so I added baby powder to make it thicker. And that worked very well, and uh, also it smells very nice uh, now. Uh, so I added the texture paste, and step two is add color with paint or spray. And first I decided on some sprays, uh, some homemade acrylic sprays and the acrylic paint in the suggested color scheme uh, with, uh, with uh, red, teal, um, and white, yeah, white wasn't in the suggested color scheme, but I changed my mind and grabbed my liquid text acrylic inks for that and just adding a few drops to my page and then watering it down and make it run through the pattern of the stencil. And then step three says glue fragments of book or music text and I decided on some um, music notes. I have, I have a few books with all music sheets. Uh, my dad found me. Um, so I use a couple of pieces of that and gluing it down with the Mod Podge. And I decided on uh, leaving this page um, well, that you could see the book text uh, through everything I put on it. And that's why I used a clear gesso uh, in the beginning instead of a white gesso. Four, add glue patterned, a uh, glue patterned paper shapes. And I use a punch, a floral punch for that, and some um, scrapbook paper from Action. And uh, I thought the, the craft uh, paper would look nice on my page. And um, just adding a few of the floral shapes and uh, using a Mod Podge for that. And then it says, add hand journaling, scribbles or quotes. I use my Micron pen and just scribbling a few uh, words, which aren't really words. It doesn't say anything really, just it looks like handwriting. And then add a vocal image or two or even three. And I got these die cuts from Sunny in Happy Mail. Um, I believe they are puppies. Um, well, I like to think they are puppies. They could be roses as well, but I like to think they are puppies. So with that in mind, I um, used uh, some spray and the bright red acrylic ink um, to color the puppies. And this is uh, a script stamp and the stays on uh, so I can stamp a bit on the bottom part of the puppies to give it some interest because I have no intention of coloring them. And this piece of lace, um, it's a very strange material because it's not paper, it's not fabric, it's a kind of plastic and it's very easy to tear and I uh, like to use this a lot on my pages. I glue that down with a Mod Podge and then I decided to um, add some red to my page uh, and that was a bit of splattering with the acrylic ink. Now, because my piece of lace got a bit lost in uh, the busy background, I tried to bring it up with uh, the acrylic archival ink. Sorry, didn't work all that well, but um, I thought I should put down the poppies first. I do that with a Mod Podge and to... Um, 
intensify the colors a bit, I use some Faber-Castell artist pit pens. Um, this red on the poppies, but also a gray one for shadowing and a green one for the leaves and the stems. Um, not to color them really, just to outline them a bit because I didn't want too much color uh, on the leaves. But just to give it a bit more contrast, I decided on uh, using a bit of green there. And then, because of this little piece of lace was bothering me, it didn't show all that well, I decided to go over it with my fingers and some gesso to bring it more up. And that kind of worked. It's not uh, all that well visible, but um, it was the only thing I could do uh, to make it stand out more. I also used a bit on the poppies as well. And then step seven was add washi tape or paper strips. I decided on a washi tape, which already was a thin uh, washi tape, but I decided to tear it in half as well. So they are very thin strips of the washi tape. And then splatter with paint or gesso. And I already did splatter a bit with the red uh, liquid text acrylic ink, but um, decided on do some more with the spray paints I made myself with the black and a white. And finishing it all off with a border in the coffee color of the archival ink, then date it and sign it. And then my mission inspiration for February 2017 is accomplished. Really had fun uh, making this one also uh, like all others because I love these challenges. So, well, hope to see you again very soon, guys. Bye bye.